Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is a Series 7 Guru coming to you from my off-grid studio, getting our kicks on Route 66 with another explication request. If you have an explication request, you can send it to uh, explication request at guruexamprep.com. You can also join us on any Tuesday night, 5 p.m. Arizona time. Bring your questions there. You can join us in our Q&A jam session at deantennytutoring.setmore.com. All right, let's get on with this uh, request. And boom, 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 boom. Uh, Elisha purchased 100 shares of RB, RMB and common stock on June 6, 2021 at $60 a share. So that is her cost basis. Her cost basis is $6,000. So let's put that up here. By the way, this is a Kaplan QBank question. If you, you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. Uh, with my Guru 15% Kaplan discount code to check out, you can get over 3,600 questions for as little as, uh, I think it's like $58.90. has a performance tracker, best in class. And for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you free look at Kaplan content like this. All right, so there's my cost basis. Cost basis is simply when we turn our money into the investment. Okay, uh, on February 11, 2022, we receive a 20% stock dividend. So, you know, I'm going to get 20% more shares, or Alicia is, or Lysha, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it pretty correctly, uh, but so does everybody else. It's very important and testable to know that proportion ownership doesn't change as a result of a stock dividend or stock split because uh, this customer has more 20% more shares, but so does everybody else. So 100 shares times 20% means she's going to get 20 additional shares. It is uh, not a taxable event to receive a stock dividend. So here, there's no tax consequence uh, to receiving this 20% uh, stock dividend. Now, what I do have to do is adjust my cost base. A lot of times on the test, you can get these right by just knowing I have more shares at a lower price. But uh, my cost basis was and still is $6,000. It's just now that $6,000 has actually bought me not a hundred shares that six thousand dollars has uh, bought me 120 shares and so not taxable but my adjusted cost basis per share here is fifty dollars that's my adjusted cost base per share adjusted cost basis per share let's uh, make that smaller so we can fit it on here Boom. Okay. So let's see what happens next. Uh, she sold the share she received as the stock dividend on December 5th, 2022. Okay. Now that is a taxable event. She has some sales proceeds here and we need to kind of first kind of check the dates here. And she has been at risk for more than a year. So that means this gain is going to be a long-term capital gain. So we're going to compare her cost basis of $50 a share with her sales proceeds of 55 And so she has here, if we take the cost basis or sales proceeds minus the cost basis, $55. in sales proceeds. Let's get uh, put that in green. Let me get a little bigger. Uh, minus the fifty dollar per share cost basis. Boom. And that looks like we made uh, five dollars a share here. So five dollars, and we're gonna owe taxes on that. And now I got to be a little careful here, right? because I have a long-term capital gain on $5 per share. But remember it said I didn't sell all the shares. She sold uh, the one she received as the stock dividend. As we recall, that was 20 additional shares, right? And so here's that 20 shares here, and that's what she sold. So the answer to the question is she has a $5 long-term capital gain on 20 shares. 
So the answer to the question is she has a hundred dollar long term capital gain. So a little tricky, a lot going on in this question. Um, you know, I think uh, you definitely should know uh, very high high probability. This idea that you don't pay taxes on stock dividends, you have to adjust your cost basis. You can get a lot of questions right by just knowing more shares at a lower price. Do I think it'll be this complex? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, but anyways, hope that was helpful. Again, if you have any explication requests, send them my way. Explication request at guruexamprep.com. And remember, inch by inch, your Series 7's a cinch, yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard, and I'll see you for the next explication request.